tiny distorted guitar synth and bass sound that plays the main riff in The Prodigy's Invaders Must Die, start by creating a new software instrument track in an empty Logic project at a tempo of 140 BPM. Load up a Logic ES2 synth. And then load the Lead Synths Bank A Trans 5th preset. This is one of the ES2 legacy presets found under the Logic Pro 10 folder system, meaning that it can also be found in the Logic version 9 ES2 factory libraries, and also the version 8 ES2 factory library as well. With the preset loaded, we'll need to make a few adjustments. Firstly, note that the patch is programmed to play in fifths. This means that the tuning of the oscillators has been set so that two are playing at the root pitch, while a third plays seven semitones, an interval of a perfect fifth, above the root. This makes it ideal for emulating guitar power chords like the ones used for the original sound, as power chords consist of root, fifth and sometimes octave notes. In this case, we set oscillator one's waveform to a sine wave and tune it up 12 semitones to plus 12. We also detune oscillator 2 by 12 semitones to minus 12. Oscillator 3 can stay where it is at plus 7 semitones. We then set the oscillator mix control at oscillator 1, 11%, oscillator 2, 44%, and oscillator 3, 44%. We we'll also need to adjust the pitch bend range from 2 to 7 so that we can achieve a similar effect to using a whammy bar on a guitar to bend the pitch. Next, we set the glide to around 45 milliseconds to give us a, a sort of a little swoopy bite at the start of each note. And then we switch the keyboard mode to mono so that we don't get any overlapping notes. This also thickens up the sound uh, using 12 voices per note instead of 6. We want the filter to be open at a constant setting, so we dial in filter 2's cutoff parameter at 0 0.360 and also pull down the resonance to 0. Filter 1 isn't being used at this point, as the blend control is all the way over to the right. Down in the modulation matrix, we need to reduce the effect that envelope 2 has on filter 2's cutoff to 0 by clicking the small BP button to bypass this first modulation slot. Setting envelope 2's decay and sustain sliders to maximum should also override any unwanted filter cutoff modulation coming from envelope 2. We can add a bit more bite to the front of each note by setting envelope 1 to modulate the pitch of all three oscillators. Set envelope 1 as the source in a modulation slot. Then set pitch 1, 2, 3 as the target. And move the green slider all the way to the top to maximise the effect. Then set envelope 1's attack to around 9.2 milliseconds. And the decay to around 15 milliseconds. These short attack and decay times, combined with a maximum effect depth, should put a nice aggressive little snag at the front of each note, similar to a pick hitting guitar strings. Finally, we set the sound's amplitude envelope's release time to its minimum by setting envelope 3's release slider to zero.